。Okay, so Gunfight さん、久しぶりですね。よろしくお願いします。ヒ,ヒルツァさん、えっ、ー、と、フォローしていただきありがとうございます。Yo, Exxon, how are you doing? So, I've been Exxon. アビゲンさん、よろしくお願いします。Should we join your room when we will、uh, eat?So, アビゲンさん、Yes,、uh, if, if in your tunnel mill chat I sent you directives saying that your match is streamed, then in that case,、uh, if I tell you、uh, the room ID, that means that yes, you should come to the room ID.、Uh, you should come to the room. But usually, if your match is streamed and I tell you to wait, just wait. Don't come to the room, just wait. Okay? <laughs> so, there's two patterns, yeah. で負けバルロテック。あおえんじ、いや。うん。あれ、どうなってんのあー、いや。Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's have things to do, so. Just one second, guys. I'm gonna have to do a couple of changes real quick. Why the hell did it. One second. Okay, yeah. So one second, guys. I'm really sorry. I have a bit of a problem right now. Yeah, here we go. This should be better. A little bit better. Deux petites secondes examen, je suis à toi. C'est juste qu'il y a un petit problème avec, avec les... les machins. Je vais faire un truc d'ailleurs. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Pourquoi c'est là What the hell is going on Ok, it's fine, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's always like this. Always a problem. Just one second, guys. Ah, how do we. How am I gonna do this Please work. Please transform. One second. I'm really sorry, guys. Good stuff from h a u k o though. He is currently. Yeah, he's currently winning, and I think he's gonna take the first round, actually. Why is it here, though? Good stuff from h a u k o He takes the first、um, round. Sorry, guys, I have some overlay issues. Of course, it had to happen right now. Of course, it wouldn't be fun if it didn't, right? So let me just try to solve this problem on the fly.、Uh, just one second. Where is zero? Where is zero here, right? Copy transform. Please transform. Please transform as well. Please transform as well. Okay, it should work now. Or not. Oh, wait. Where's the three? Where the hell did this thing go? I don't understand. Okay, three is here. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. So now it should work, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Hopefully it's gonna work. Please work. One, two, three. Okay, we have this one good. Now let's do the other one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. And Barutotek is also Japanese. He's not from, from the Philippines, my bad. Why is this flag p i l p i n g There's so much stuff going on today. I'm so sorry, guys. Why is it? Okay, it should be fine now. <laughs> Haoko Sensei, perfect. And Haoko Sensei is gonna take it as well, this one, I think.、Uh, actually, not. Not yet. He just needs one more and then you should be fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, I cannot. <laughs> okay, oh, actually, Baruru took this one. Okay, Haku san took this one. Okay, perfect. So let me just. Let me really, really just like solve this issue with the freaking scores and then it should be good to go. I have no idea how I managed to do it.、Uh, like on the fly. Okay, okay, s t r e n g form. Okay, should be fine now. Let's see if it works. I'm so sorry, guys. It'll be fine now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's test it out. So, one, two, three. Perfect. We're good to go. Finally. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. 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 Sorry
、えー、とハードルがありましたんでなかなか試合には集中は全くできませんでしたはいじゃあまだ終わってないんですけどね OK so anyways here we go so how could manage to get the OK how could manage、uh... actually this time around b a r u r o t e c h is the one trying b a r u r o t e c h OK it's not b a r u r o t e c h my bad my bad b a r u r o ah r e c yeah it's b a l r o r e c h OK we got it Balro, Baru Torek. Good lord, it's hard to say. <laughs> and here we go. And it was actually Hauko managed to take the second、um, round as well, if I'm correct. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Imagine que son occidentalisé, c'est Baltrek. Ouais, Baltrek, je l'appelle. Baltrek. Baltrek, we got it, we got it. Okay, anyways,、uh, let me check if somebody called me in the chat, but nobody called me. I love it when nobody calls me. That means that everything is going according to k e i k a k u And now we can finally start. I can finally start to commentate on the match. And as we can see, as you guys can see currently, we have a match between two masters. And、uh, Baltrek, trying to get his way out of the corner, he managed to do so. Here we go with the tick fresh right now, trying to really put his game. Using the 6 6 p but here we go with Haoko getting out of it, getting the corner pressure, goes for the frame trap. But b a l t r a k did not bite, but he did bite right there, trying to anti air and gets hit by the aerial Hadouken right there from Haoko. Oh, okay, interesting setup. Here we go with the oh, the reversal right there, and the counter, and the free now. That was such a clutch、uh, attempt right there from b a l t r a k to use the SBA to try to,、uh, to anti air Haoko and to、uh, punish. Uh, his uh, his uh, ground pounce. The, his uh, his uh, wall wall pounce, I suppose you call it. Anyway, then Hauko, here we go, takes the first round rather、uh, convincingly. He's been only winning right there, only losing one round, if I'm correct. But yeah, so far so good for him. Here we go with the counter and wake up DP from b a l t e r e k He's got the 6 6 P in with the corner combo right there. Goes for the unblockable, manages to hit it. Goes for the extension station. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? I don't think so, yeah. Halko lives to fight another day. Here we go with the reversal, the blocks, and the non punish, though. Probably Halko tried to press a button right there. And、uh, yeah, fortunately for him, Baltrek was ready for it and punished accordingly. Here we go with the 6 6P again. Baltrek with the. Oh, drops a combo a little bit too far from the corner, probably, to get the juggle, I suppose. We're going to take pressure, the jump in from Seox, Hauko. Again with Baltrek using one crystal to get Hauko off of his back, unfortunately for him. Hauko is right back on it. Already trying to deal a lot of damage right there. Try to bait some sort of reaction from Baltrek using the momentum of the、uh, aerial fireball to try to punish Baltrek from trying to entire him, I su suppose. That being said, look at the corner pressure, man. Hauko, man. Aoko man, ooh, trying to go for the nice little reset. Unfortunately for him, got hit by the SSB. This is gonna do a ton of damage, by the way. Not gonna kill by any. Ooh, it's not gonna kill. Ooh, yeah. It's not gonna kill at all. Here we go to take pressure. Andy Guard reversal. Ah, yeah. Ah, Aoko trying to close the distance using the aerial Hodoken. Hauko is in chip. Yeah, chip territory and gets adequately anti aired right there with the 2H from b a l t e r e k b a l t e r e k manages to take one round, one match, I'm sorry. Very nicely done, by the way. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see if he can continue,、uh, continue this. Firstly, for him, just ran straight into a standing P. Nice.、Uh, very, very nice. Confirmed from Hauko. Goes for the extension. I forgot the name and we're going to discover it together. Ah, <laughs>、oh, damn it. I really need to make my.、Um, I, need to, uh, I need to study this game, man. Study the,、uh, the, technical, the technical terms and everything. Let me go to on the sloop real quick just to have my cheat,、uh, my cheat sheet. <laughs> and that being said, here we go with Baltrek. Man, looking pretty good this time around. Yeah, trying to make a comeback though, he is down on HP, but still manages to, yeah. To, oh, open his opponent up, and that should be enough since he has the SSBA. And yes, it is. Here we go. Boom! Yep. And you die. Good stuff right here. t a k e the first round, yo. Very nicely done by Baltrek. But,、uh, yeah, ever so slightly bringing it back. The guard crush. Brave counter. Okay, brave counter. That's what we call it. 
Wraith Counter, the Grounded Guard that you can use to... How do you call it? Crossover? No. Wraith Counter and... How do you call it? And you're gonna go with the pressure from Hauko. Gonna get the juggle. I'm gonna probably keep his. Yep, yeah, gonna keep his bar. Wants to keep it for a later. Potentially. Ah, uh, to seal the deal. But that being said, here we go with Bartorek and. Bartorek, I'm sorry. And the reversal. I'll remember it one day, don't worry. Good lord. Great counter, is it? Raging Strike and Brave Counter. Okay, here we go. Raging Strike and Brave Counter. Got it. That's good. And here we go with the SSBA again from Baltorek. Is he gonna get the kill? No, he's very far from it, actually. But it's fine. It's fine. He still has one more chance. He's got the grab. One more is gonna be enough to kill. He tried to bait probably the counter, I suppose. Or not to get... Oh, and gets the kill with the grab. Man, Baltorek with the comeback, yo. And we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Right now. On the side of Hauko Sensei, so let's see how this pans out. Okay, and we go with the start of the round with Hauko Sensei try to use stay tonight. Fortunately, could not get anything out of it, and instead gets pretty big pressure from Baltorek. He did manage to get out of the corner using the reversal. We go with the Flamic Thunder. Got the un the two HS right there with the Brave Counter Juggle. Very nice uh, Brave Counter. Ah, that's the Brave Counter. Yeah, Brave Strike. It was the other one. And on with the Brave Counter this time around. Halko trying to get, yeah, to put some distance between him and his opponent as much as possible to try to start his zoning game. And here we go with the Brave Strike from Baru Torek with the juggle follow up. Very nicely done. He is on set point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. We shall see. And on with the start of the battle with the... How do you call it? The Nella Nav? <laughs> I do believe it's called. Okay, nice grab attempt right there from Halko. Gets the 2 HS counter hit entire. And gets the full juggle right there. Yeah. And... Babu said, trying to erase the... Oh man, that entire from Halko. Could not get the follow-up though, because it wasn't a counter hit. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure. Ow! Oh, and the big DP right there, the big assault knife, you call it, I do believe. And again, the good night, the good night. And here we go with the jump in right there from Baru Rotek and gets it by the... Ooh, by the slow kill, I believe it's called. Yeah. I'm gonna get it one day. Yo, Marisa, how are you doing? Oh, big corner pressure right there from Baltarek, man. He's bringing the heat and the juggle, man. Finishes with the Verdrongen, gets the grab. We're going to take pressure. Ooh, that was an unfortunate brave strike. I'm pretty sure he wanted a brave counter, though. That being said, here we go with Haoko and the corner pressure with the assault knife. Goes straight into the... Uh, the ultimate slow kill? No, uh, no, no, no. The, uh, the acid, acid rage howl. My bad. Was it? Oh, it was the dead, dead end fall. I'm sorry. Oh, and here we go with the SBA from Barotek and Barotorek. I'm sorry, not Barotek. Oh, okay, it's gonna be none other than Shosan versus Revenanto. Uh, Shosan actually rocking that mean Zeta. Already with 2,890 uh, matches under their belts. That's a huge amount of matches, if you ask me. Very nicely. Uh, anyways, and on to the next battle. Good, good, man. Woke up hella late, but uh, needed the sleep first. Yeah, exactly. This is the first one, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I begin. <laughs> I begin so yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so many good players. It's, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Good luck to you, Abigail-san. You're still S, S plus, so S, S plus plus, so it should be fine. Don't worry, you got this, Abigail-san. You got this. And here we go with Zeta and DSV. Oh, unfortunately, drops it. That is so unfortunate. Mm. And 
here we go with the I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to check the, the names of the of the supers and whatnot because I absolutely do not know them. And wow, that's a lot of brave counters. First match does go to Shosando. Very nicely done. And on to the second battle. Let me see. Zeta versus Oh okay. could be fine now. <clears throat> okay, and Ribenanto just applying the pressure. Ooh, almost got the punish on the counter right there from Zed. Unfortunately, did not react to it and did not attempt to grab. Here we go with the hops from Shosan. Very nice tick right there from Shosan as well. Gets the projectile in order to get the corner carry. Goes for the 2U. Very nice to you again. Noticed that uh, Shosan was going to go for the Wilbur Wind, if I'm correct. And gets a full combo carry in the corner. And here we go with uh, Rebenanto, who woke up with the reversal. Was uh, able to get out of the pressure. The turbulence, yeah. Nice, brave counter right there from Rebenanto. Oh, got the shimmy, but ooh! Even got the punish on the shimmy. On the, the punish on the grab attempt right there from Rebenanto. Puts one round on the board as well. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, good stuff, Ab again. Okay, congrats, congrats. Yeah, hopefully I'll get it soon as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, and here we go with the brave strike in the corner combo from Shosan. Gonna get a pretty... Ooh, did he go for a reset? Okay, forcing Revenanto to uh, use his brave counter to get out of the uh, guard crush attempt. Oh, nice 6-6-P six, six right there from Revenanto. Gonna get the uh, corner carry. Ooh, tried to go for the turbulence, I believe it. Oh, well, actually went for the turbulence, actually. Managed to get out of the pressure. Here we go with, oh, wow, the big, brave strike. And first round goes to uh, to Hillsong, actually. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord, this game is sick indeed. <laughs> I got 3-0'd, but it was close. That's good, man. It's, it's fine, Avon. It's fine. You'll get him next time, don't worry. Got a round off a Master Lediva. Just got to clean up my confirms a bit and I can join the big boys. Yeah, that's cool, man. Just... Yeah, to attempt to practice makes perfect. You can definitely make it. Ooh! Shosan tried to go for a sneaky anti-air anti anti right there. Ooh! Nice wake up from Shosan. Look at the damage. Half of your bar. Half of your life already gone. Brave strike. Juggle in the corner. Not enough to kill. Goes for the save jump into the hops. Into the grab for the kill. And Shosan takes the first round of this second match. Very nicely done. The infinite wonders, that's how you call it. And the spear of Arvis. Ah, what was this? Uh, this is the counter, I believe. How do you call it? Rhapsody, Rhapsody. I'm definitely gonna remember this this uh, the super name, this uh this special name, Rhapsody. Okay, got it, got it. Oh lord! And Revenanto got out of the corner, uses the... Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> I know none of the names of the super in this game. So Sapling Cross, Blade Impulse, okay. Oh, and the Turbulence for the wake up again. Goes for the Wogan Strom. Into the Blade Impulse for the... Uh, how do you call it? The uh, Wall Bounce for the kill. Good stuff from Revenanto gets a V. Uh, second round of this uh, second match. That being said, he gets hit by the blade, uh, the the spear of Arvis. Very nice spear of Arvis on wake up right there from Shosan. Manages to bait a grab and look at the damage right there. Well, it's not that big of a damage, but very nice setups from Shosan. Brave strike goes for the save jump. Goes for the empty low. Revenanto this time around knows the setup. Didn't get hit by it. Oh, tries to go for the Wind of Worm, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> what is it called? The Wogenstrom? No, it's not the Wogenstrom. It's the, um... Oh, sorry. Why do they have the real the Whirlbill Wind? And the second match goes to Shosan. I hate the super name, the the, the special names attacks of, of, uh, of Lancelot. I'm sorry. I'm really not gonna like it. And Shosan doing pretty good, but that being said, look at this! Goes for the Rhapsody into the follow-up. Forcing Revenanto to have uh, to make use of the what's called the brave counter. Nice blade, the spear of Arvis. Juggle 
Goes for the wall break. Goes for the guard break. That was six stuff from Shosan again with the guard break. Shosan leading two to zero right now on match point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Goes for a walk up into the uh, rhapsody. Good stuff from Shosan. Goes for the save drop. Even the even freaking counters the brave counter. That was sick. And the blade of Arvis again goes for the save jump. Forces Revenanta to wake up with the uh, the turbulence. Goes for the uh, blade uh, thing. It's called the uh, blade impulse. I'm sorry. Again with the Windstorm into blade impulse for the wall. Uh, the wall, the wall, the wall bounce. Goes for the Southern Cross. I right, so go for a take pressure right there. Definitely at the end of his wits. Oh, Lord, and no, not like this, not like this. Turbulence, turbulence, death by turbulence. Shosan taking it a clean three to nail. Very, uh, yeah, uh, up, up, how do you say, it? uphill battle, I think? We'll see, we'll see. Wait, we're never, it doesn't mean anything. Rank is really just, uh, just an alphabet, uh, just, just an alphabet, uh, how do you say it? Um, uh, it's just a letter, really. That being said, here we go with Samega getting the grab right at the start. Uh, speaking of which, I need to get my cheat sheet for the names of the specials. Because I'm still definitely not used to them at all. Uh, so wait, Gita versus Ladiva. Let's see. Okay, so are we going to focus more on Ladiva? Pastiva. So grapple girl. This is the ground throw, no, air throw. The jewel resort screwdriver, okay, the screwdriver, let's call it. And here we go with the wake up reversal right there from Sushi, trying to get out of harm's way. Oh, very nice with punish, could not uh, really amount to anything else though. Nice call out from Sushi right there, knowing that uh, Samega was a little bit too far right there to try to apply any substantial pressure on them. And here we go with the wake up SSBA. Unfortunately for him. Unfortunately for them, Samega was or what was going on right there just locked quick and simple and proceeded to win the round. Nice with Punisher temp right there from Sushi a little bit too far. And Sushi man with the reversal right in the block stream. The rising sword. Yo, you will chat, ça va bien, ça fait longtemps, dis donc. Anyone has bracket for Grand Blue? Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Let me give it to you. I forgot to update the... <laughs> forgot to update this uh, very important... Uh, very important stuff. So, let me give it to you. One sec, one sec. Uh, bracket, here you go. I'll give it to you right away, dear sir. There you go. Perfect. C'est un tournoi, en effet, you will chat. En effet, en effet, tout à fait. And let me update my uh, bracket uh, vision also while we're at it. A good stuff for wait. Here we go. Sushi taking one round. Good stuff. Let's see if uh, let's see how this pans out, man. Good stuff. Uh, organizer. Okay, good. I'm gonna update the uh, the bracket. Uh, how do you call it? The bracket link from the from the bot. Just so people can actually have access to it. And look at that, man. Sushi, man. Sushi with the Rady Neighbor. I forgot, forgot the name, but anyway. Okay, bracket, 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 bracket. Oh, where is it? Oh, here we go. And... Damn, man. First match goes to sushi actually good stuff yo yeah i'm sorry guys give me a couple of seconds oh good lord
Okay, here we go. BB B B B S R. And blue, then click on. Okay, we're good. Let's see if it works. And man, oh lord, the wake up SS is uh, this is BA. See, oh, it works. Perfect. And here we go with the wow, the six six P for the win from Sushi, man. Is Sushi gonna actually make it? Good lord, that is pretty uh, surprising. Yeah, that would be a big upset. Big rising sword right there from Sushi to put an end to the pressure of uh, of Samega. And Samega in the corner again getting hit by the uh, rising sword. Unfortunately for Sushi, he drops the combo right after it. And here we go with the screwdriver from Samega. Goes with the 6 6 speed into the headbutt, into Manus, into the screwdriver, man, with the resets. Oh, goes for the overhead. Thank you very much for the follow, Kiru544, and welcome to the Browdros, and also to Hype, Hype People, and welcome to the Browdros. Oh, we're going with the overhead! Oh, you can see Samega not wanting to get hit by the by a wake up SSBAA right there. Good stuff from uh, Samega. Oh, getting hit repeatedly with the low right there. Matsushi doing a good job of really keeping Samega out of, uh, out of range. And okay, we're good. Everything good. And the headbutt for the kill, and Samega back into the game right now. Good stuff. Takes one round. That being said, he is still down one match, one round. So the advantage right now is clearly in Sushi's favor with the tick pressure. Here we go with the late laning, lading raver. How do you call it? How do you call it? How do you call it? The lagging laver, Regin laver. Okay, we got it. Okay, nice tick attempt right there from Samega and goes with the reset screwdriver. In the process, goes for another screwdriver. This man knows no fear. Oh, tries to go for a third one, but man, this time around, Sushi with the call out goes for the neutral jump and just punish it accordingly. That being said, Sushi unfortunately got, um, got hit right there and is in the corner, wakes up with the rising sword ultimate. And man, Samega wakes up with just a standing P and gets the the, the kill, the kill combo, man. Good stuff from Samega. Takes one, puts one on the board, actually. Okay, let's go. Yeah, finally, I thought that Sushi was gonna take it like a clean 3 to nil, even though he's S and Samega was master, but no. Samega wakes up a little bit right now. Probably needed like a couple of, uh, of rounds right there to, you know, to get warmed up. We go with the 6 6 P and the jump in from Samega goes for the headbutt. The double headbutt made it seem that he was gonna go for a reset screwdriver, but instead went for a normal to reset the damage count. Nice grab from Sushi, got out of the corner, and Samega with the jump out of the corner, yo. Go with the hop from Gita, unfortunately got clipped right there. Why does this movie exist? I do not know. Bro, oh, it's called to the U? I think it's for you, yeah. The, uh, the raging chain or something. Anyways, here we go with Samega with the hit. The Overdrive Surge. Okay, Overdrive Surge. If I can remember it. Eternal Ascendancy and... What's the Super of La Diva? It's the Shape of Love and Maximum Love Bomb. Okay, gotcha. Okay, got it. Here we go. The, ooh, and the Rising Sword right in the pressure. That was huge from Sushi. Keeping the... the, the keeping the... Oh, Lord! That would punish, though! Good stuff. Goes for the Rage Strike for Extension Station. And into the SBA. The Eternal Ascendancy from Sushi, man. Oh, and that made he... No, he had it. He had... You don't want to let him live. Oh, and gets the... No! She went for the Panic and still got clipped by the SSBA. How is it? He had the correct read, but unfortunately, he backed off a little bit too early. And tries to wake up and get away from pressure. And Samega stealing it right at the end. Takes the second match. This is so unfortunate. So many good decisions from Sushi, but but badly spaced. But due to a, a, an unfortunate spacing, he got still got clipped by it. This is so unfortunately. So unfortunate. But it is what it is. Ah, uh, Legin Legin Label. 
leggy blade, okay, and the Vorpal blade, okay, got it. Big Vorpal blade, EX right there from Sushi, goes for the extension station, finishes with the rising sword. Oh, and with the sneaky 2S into the Vorpal blade, into the EX leggy blade, into the ascendancy SBA for maximum damage. Here we go with the damage. What is going to be the wake up options of Samega? Man, Samega. Ooh, and the Rising Sword. Okay, what's gonna happen, Sushi? Do your best. Do not let him live. Ooh, freaking gets a read on the Lariat. EX jumps out of harm's way and ends right on top of the nose of Ladiva. Good stuff from Sushi. Gets another read on a regular Lariat this time around. Punishes accordingly. And gets the corner pressure. Man. A raw screwdriver right there from Samega. Gets hit again by the rising uh rising sword though. Yo, Akito, ça va bien? Thank you very much for the follow, Brooks the Boat, and welcome to the Brojos. Oh, and the grab to get rid of the ultimate version of the headbutt right there. You can see Sushi definitely trying to get oh a run for to give uh samega a run for his money right there goes for the rope blade ex fully charged probably gonna get hit by the ssba yeah for extension dam uh, extended damage very très très bien Akito. premier tournoi de grand blue mon pote j'espère que tu vas kiffer and here we go with the countdown and the blocks on the overhead straight into the ascendance for the kill and sushi man puts another one on the board two to two who is gonna take it we shall see the eternal ascendancy i need to remember it okay very nice confirms right there straight into the vorpal blade and making use of the rising sword straight into the uh, headbutt attempt of samega again with the rising sword man sushi and the disrespect does not want to deal with any sort of pressure right there goes for the tick pressure while you're trying to stuff the uh the 2d ascent the 2u ascent of samega and big entire right there uh, from sushi straight into the eternal ascendancy gonna get a ton of damage that being said samega does have ssba sniffs out the backdash attempt from sushi Oh no, it's Sushi trying to go for the grab, but man, oh, Samega, oh, got clipped right there, is it gonna kill, no, too far to get the wall bounce, and the ultimate Lariat to catch the backdash from Sushi, not gonna kill, but very close to it, no, the rising sword, he knew it was coming, Samega knew that the rising sword was coming, and since he was in ship, uh, he was in ship, uh, how do you call it, Territory, he immediately spot dodge in order not to get clipped by. Very nice decision making from Samega. Definitely uh, the type of behavior you see from somebody who's really, really acquainted and used to this type of situation. Good uh, tech as well from Samega. That was so hype. And here we go with the audience oh, into the Vorpal Blade. But man, Sushi using a lot of uh, brief counters though. Oh, nice. Recognition station from Samega. Ooh, trying to bait that, uh, that, how do you call it, the, uh, the um, Rising Sword. Here we go to 2S, a big far HS right there from Sushi. Again with the far HS. The, the far HS confirmed straight into the Eternal Ascendancy, enough to kill. Yes, it is. And Sushi not out of this yet. This is a match point. The one who takes this one takes it all. Well, not the tournament, but this match at least. Okay, and here we go. This set at least. Straight into the head, but things are looking pretty bleak from Sushi. Not gonna lie, it's already 45% of your health gone. I'd say even one third, and the freaking screwdriver from Samega gets hit though by the reversal. The wake up rising sword EX from Sushi. See how this pans out. Samega taking out oh, his sweet time, does not want to overextend for uh, normal reasons. Oh, too far to get now the grab gets hit by the wake up uh rising sword from sushi again sushi trying to get the grab oh big lariat and ooh, a little bit too early on his uh on their um screwdriver 10 gets hit but no he had the correct idea once again not enough to kill oh snips out no and this is death 
This is Nefsame got taken in three. Anila versus none other than Ladiva. Let's see how this pans out. Both have achieved master rank. Both are extremely good players of Guilty Gear Strive. Kohide, mostly known for his Giovanna prowess, has won several tournaments on the Guilty Gear scene. Abigan, uh, mostly known for his, if and correct me if I'm wrong, for his Marvel vs. Capcom 3 prowess. Uh, I think he is a pro player actually on the game. Uh, and he's he's part of the main reason, part of the reason why the game is as somewhat of a a success in Japan still because he loves this game uh, but yeah if, if correct me if I'm wrong I'm not entirely sure I only know Abigail from the uh, Guilty Gear Strive scene so if you guys know more about his lore I would be more than happy to uh, learn about it that being said here we go with Kohide and the corner pressure I'm out but it was really close it's fine even next time and here we go with the headbutt, man, Ab again with the Lariat right there. Gets the knockdown, forces Kohide to resort to using the Brave counter. And Kohide just taking his uh, time, does not want to overextend. Wow, the two counters right there. Kohide needs to be very careful. He does not have any resources whatsoever if he gets hit, and which is the case. Oh, no! Oh, and he went... Abigail going for the delayed guard crush and actually getting it very nicely done. Holy freaking lord. Okay, old school Marvel. Okay, got it, got it. Thanks for the, uh, for the lore. Okay, and Abigail doing a good job of uh, actually bringing it back, man. This is pretty crazy. Let's see if Kohide can actually manage to steal the deal. Well, to bring it back this time around. Gets it by the screwdriver, though. You hate to see it. And here we go, the 6-6 six, six speed. Abigail going for the jumping, gets the headbutt and the follow-up combo into the lariat, into the screwdriver. No, the um, it's another name for the name. Uh, what's the name? It's the devoted ball body slam. The devoted body slam. I'll get it next time. Okay, here we go with the far. Oh, speaking of which, I need to get Anila's uh, name. Uh, not name, but uh, special special names. Ramification. Oh, the five U. We don't care about that. Uh, fluff him, fluff him, all is vanilla. Oh, Lord, and just as I say, look at this. Look at this. Abigail with the first match. Very nicely done. Uh, and that was the SBA, if I'm correct. Probably... Okay, let's see. All is vanity. Okay, vanity, fluff him. Fluff him is the Totsugeki. All is vanity is the wake up DP. Flock to the future is. At... Okay, flock to the future is this. The super flock to the future, ultimate flock to the future, which he just did. Here we go with the grab. And Kohide with the tick pressure goes for the overhead. Gets the counter hit, also on the overhead, which uh, caused a heavy knockdown. Very nice. Oh, Lord. Flock to the future. And here we go with the vanity wake up from Kohide. Goes straight into the brave counter. Does not want to have to deal with Abigail's pressure whatsoever. Fluff him, fluff him. Ultimate right there. And the 4S for the kill. Good stuff from uh, from Kohide. Manages to take one round. And again, Flock to the Future. Kohide using Flock to the Future to uh, push up again in the corner ever so slightly. Oh, unfortunately for him, gets hit by the Lariat into the headbutt. Nice knockdown from Ab again. And the setup, probably not to get hit by just this, by the Vanity. That being said, Kohide did not wake up, uh, did not wake up quick rise actually. Oh, he got the hit, but unfortunately, the Lariat went straight through Kohide in its juggle state, which was really unfortunate for him. Here we go with, oh, Lord, and all is vanity indeed. Fluff him, fluff him for the added pressure into the Brave Strike and the follow-up. Kohide trying to go for the sweep right there to get the juggle a bit too far, though. Gets hit by the ultimate headbutt. Yeah, Kohide and uh, Abigail trying to sniff out that vanity wake-up, but Kohide help holding uh, holding strong to it, and thankfully for it, manages to get the second match. Very, very close match, by the way. Good stuff from Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. Ooh, big 4S right there from Kohide. Oh, manages to halt the uh, Lariat attempt from Abigail. Goes for the far HS. Again, man, Kohide going, doing a very good stuff of just keeping Abigail away. Managed to get the grab right there. There you go. Tried to bait the grab this time around. Abigail holding strong. Got hit though. 
Yeah, getting definitely harassed by this forest, man. And again, gets hit by the vanity. Kohide with the brave strike juggle in the corner. Goes for a second one. Unfortunately, uh, does not have the meter. Well, did have the meter, but did, decided not to go um, and use it all. Use it. Used his last crystal, though. Cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Kohide needs to be really careful there. Use his vanity for the kill again. Good stuff from Kohide. He is currently on... Uh, yeah, he got the first round, so not match point yet. We'll see how this pans out. And on to the neutral spacing right there. See how this pans out. Ooh, big whiff of the freaking Larian and Abigan with the screwdriver reset. He goes for the save jump. He definitely looking for the wake up vanity right there from Kohide. Kohide just content to really not overextend, does not want to have to deal with pressure. And Abigail with the reset screwdriver again. Oh, big 2 ATS counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. SBA, no SBA, yes SBA. Here we go. This is my love. Take all of it. <laughs> How do you call this one? It's the maximum love bomb. Yeah, here we go. Good stuff from Abigail. The maximum love bomb. Thank you very much for the follow, Godflash. Yo, Godflash Thunder. How are you doing, man? I don't remember if you speak French, I think you do. And if you do, uh, bienvenue chez les brojo. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the Lariat EX. Abigail getting that big damage in the corner. Ooh, manages to not get hit by the... By the... By the... By the... I forgot the name. Uh, the Brave counter. And again, Kohide going with the Brave strike. Oh, unfortunately, does not get the follow-up, unfortunately, for him. Here we go with the pressure. And Abigail using the Lariat EX to get out of pressure. Into the reset with the screwdriver ultimate and the big, 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 big headbutt right there from Abigail. Abigail taking another match, man. Taking the lead 2 to 1. What is Kohide gonna do? Good lord. Let's see how this spins out. Rig with the jump in. Abigail and the headbutt right there. Kohide mashing that vanity, wanting to get out of harm's way. And Abigail again, just casually. Jumping out of pressure. Let's see how this spins out. Big sweep right there from Abigail. And again with the reset using the screwdriver. Kohide not ready for it. Kohide using again one of his brave uh, counter crystals to get out of arm's way. Uses the... Uh, Shovin from the future. The flock to the future. Again the flock to... Uh, the fluff him fluff him. Ultimate to keep the pressure going. And the flock to the future. The freaking, that freaking uh, pressure in the corner, man. That was a very, very big. Unfortunately, for Abigail, he was not able to sustain it. Bonjour, I don't speak French, but I'm, uh, yeah, I do follow you on Twitter. I know, and I do know that you play uh, Narmea, yeah. I've been following you for a long time, actually. I think we both followed each other. I don't remember exactly, but anyways, thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. Well, for the, yeah, the follow on Twitch. Much appreciated, and uh, hope you like uh, the tournament. <laughs> Good to see you active in the blue skies. Like, yeah, me too, man. Much appreciated, man. And I hope that uh, everything's going fine with the with the beautiful Narmea. I hope you attain the master uh, rank again. In which case, congratulations. If not, it's only a question of time. Anyway, here we go with the corner pressure from Kohide, man. Getting the hit with the brave strike and sealing the deal. And we are going down to the last match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go with the 2HS, uh, not the 2HS, it's probably the 2U, I suppose. And the take pressure right there from Kohide. And Abigail doing a good job of using the stand dodge not to get hit by the the, the, the take pressure from Kohide. Kohide using the flock to the future to push Abigail off of him. Uses the X vanity to uh, further the distance, but man, Abigail closing the distance using the Ultimate Lariat gets the corner pressure. He tried to go for a reset, but unfortunately for him, Kohide got hit by the first hit, the standing L, which uh, made it so that he was not capable of getting grabbed by the uh, command grab. Big ultimate headbutt right there from Abigail. What the hell was that? That was so sick, Abigail taking the freaking first round of this third of this, uh, actually this fifth match, man. Good lord. Is Abigail going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Here we go with the fluff, fluff him, fluff him, uh, fluff him, 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 okay, got you. Okay, next. Okay, man, Abigail looking pretty good. Ooh, gets the sweep. 
We're going to hit, but he gets the punish on the vanity this time around. This could not come at a worse moment for Kohide. We're going to corner pressure, gets hit by the headbutt. Kohide fighting for his life, trying to get out of the corner as soon as possible. Gets the 6-6-P six, six hit, gets the grab in. Oh, got the bait on the headbutt, but Wars unfortunately got the cross up, which he definitely did not want. That is so unfortunate for him. It's not over till it's over though. And the vanity into now getting punished. This is over. This is Jover. Good stuff from Abigail. Thank you very much for the follow, Gen General Jenkins and Popokilorai. And welcome to the Brojos. And on we go. Barutorek versus Amega. Who is going to come out on top? We shall see. I, I definitely need the. The super names, the special names for Secret. I'm getting used to uh, Ladiva because we have so many Ladiva players today, so I'm getting used to the, the special names of Ladiva, which is pretty good. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna complain. Oh, nice clash right there for both players. Uh, one second, guys. So, Secret, Secret. Where are you, Secret? Secret, Secret. Where is it? Uh, here we go. I don't like the placement of Secret, it's hard to find on the screen. Anyways, and here we go with the Lombardier. Uh, actually, no, it's not Lombardier. Here we go, the grab. And the big 2 HS is gonna do a lot of damage into the uh, Brave Strike. Second Brave Strike for uh, the kill. First round goes to Bartorek. Okay, let's see. Oh, Héritier is the DP. Héritier, okay. we have Orkin. Orkin car. Verdrangen. Okay, Verdrangen, here we go for the corner pressure. Again with the 6-6 six, six speed. Goes for the overhead. Gets the hit. Goes for the take pressure. Gets the grab. Valtorek looking pretty good right now. But unfortunately gets hit by the ultimate headbutt. And Samega going for the reset using the screwdriver. Another screwdriver. What is Valtorek gonna do? Another screwdriver, man. Is Are we gonna see another one? Nope. Ah, and here we go with the wake up to... Uh, oh, that's the DA! <laughs> Is this gonna kill? Is this gonna kill? I don't know, but it's gonna do a shite ton of damage. Oh no, it's not gonna kill. That definitely was a very close, but that being said, Baltorek clutches his out and takes the first round, the first match actually. Good lord. And here we go on to the next battle. Uh, yeah, I need to remember their, their, his attacks. Uh, so Nella, Nella Nav is the, the the fireball. Got it. And we have some nice Guilty Gear mu music this time around. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a Grand Blue Fancy versus uh, tournament, but it's fine. It's fine. I love the I love the BGM of Guilty Gear as well. And you're going to wake up SBA from Samega. Gonna have the uh, my eyes Mugen Dio, the maximum love bomb from Samega. Samega going straight into the screwdriver right after. Uh, a spot dodge, man. Very nicely done. And Nila Nav right there for Baltorek in order to instigate the pressure, but still gets hit, unfortunately, by Samega, who clutches it out with the Brave Strike. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the Nila Nav. Oh, uh, nice sweep right there from Baltorek. Gets the corner pressure, gets hit by the 6 6 speedo. Oh, that was an attempt to do 2HS from Baltorek. Unfortunately, got stuffed by the jump in from Samega. Samega with the corner pressure gets the pressure started with the brave counter. Gets the juggle into the headbutt into the uh, the, 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 the devoted body slam into the oh lord the SBA and the kill. Samega looking pretty good. Actually managed to get the uh, the second match. If I'm great. Yep, that's the second match. Here we go. Smell of games, exactly. <laughs> and what the and the game smells very, very good right now for Baltorek. Actually, not for Baltorek, for Samega, who's been able to bring it back. And Samega just, yeah, going straight for the screwdriver. Gets hit, unfortunately, by the Eritier, I believe. Uh, from, or is it the messenger? That's the messenger. The messenger. Messager, messager. Wait, is, is Siegfried French? He has so many French sounding attacks. Like Messager, he has uh, he has Héritier, he has L'Ombre d'Hier, he has so many Délivrance as well. He has so many French um, attack names. 
Anyways, that being said, here we go with Baltorek and the Brave Strike straight into the uh, SBA, which would be the Schwartz Fange. And we're going on to the second round. Let's see if Samega can bring it back, gets hit by the Naslav, the Nasna, the Nila Nav, the Nila Nav, yes. Big headbutt right there from Samega, gets hit by the sweep, and gets hit by the screwdriver. Nobody expects it. A big brief counter right there from Bartek Torek trying to, to put some distance between him and Samega for good reasons. Okay, big Orkin. Is that the Orkin? Or is that the yeah, it's, yeah, I really don't know. Ah, uh, Orkin. Okay, Orkin, Orkin. I need to remember the Orkin. If, okay, Orkin. This is the Orkin. Into the Eri... Into the Uwe. Uwe, okay, got it. Okay, big Brave Strike with the follow-up. Another Brave Strike with the follow-up. Is that gonna be enough to kill? I don't think so, though. And he gets the Shimmy, unfortunately for him. Could not finish his plate and you do not want to let oh oh big messenger right there from uh Bartorek. big statement get off me statement right there from Bartorek. and then Verdrangen uh, being German yeah that's the thing so he's what is Siegfried like half French and half German <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to take from it I suppose so that being said, here we go with Samega getting out of pressure with the jump out. Gets the Lariat, gonna get the juggle. Into the another juggle. Ooh, drops it, unfortunately for him, gets hit by a brave strike with the follow-up into uh, the Oh good lord, I hate the names of into the rare dragon. Oh, here we go with the Orcon with the follow-up. Close S right there from Bartory gets hit by the 6-6 Speedo into the Lariat Ultimate. This is going to do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Samega with the full conversion right there. Oh, this should be safe. And it's safe. That was a setup. Good stuff from Samega. Brings it back, yo. One round. He just needs one more and we will have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately for him, gets hit by the Fireball. I hate seeing Fireball when I... Ah, uh, it's not Fireball. It's the Nella Nav. The Nav, I'm gonna call it. Oh, Lord! Okay, here we go with the setup, the safe setup. And Bartorek with the Orkin. Oh, almost got... Ooh, that freaking dodge! That spot dodge not to get hit by the headbutt was divine. Good stuff from Bartorek. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, the pressure is real. Bartorek looking pretty good right now. Should end it with the SBA, yes he does. And beautiful finish with the Schwartz Fange. Very nicely done by uh, Bartorek, who is currently on match point. Sig Fireball is kind of criminal. It is, man, I really hate it. Sagi Kasane, exactly, Sagi Kasane, exactly, that's how you call it. The safe, uh, um, well, safe uh, media, yeah. The country of Fendrak, he is from is uh, basically an Arthurian legend mashup. So it's got a bunch of British, French, and Germanic into that is awesome to know, uh, Flubridge. Thank you very much for the lore. Especially since I'm playing the game currently, uh, the mobile game, so to try to be more understanding of the lore of the game. So it's actually a very welcome explanation from you. Thank you very much. And here we go with the wake up SSBA. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Not gonna kill by any means. But that being said, Tamega is gonna deal a lot of damage. About 45% out. That being said, look at this Bartorek, man. Gets the kill using the nav. Navigating his way to victory right there. Festiva in a deed. So, eh, to. Dizoku, eh, Dizoku Sagi Kasane da. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Dizoku Sagi Kasane is basically a uh, safe media. Safe media on wake up. Ah, so, yeah. Anyways, let's go. This is the first, the second winner's semi uh, matchup. The one who wins this one will make his way to the winner's final. That being said, here we go with Shosan. Making good, uh, making very, very good use of his hop in order to mix Abigail. Abigail using the Lariat right now. And let me just have a, a quick look at my cheat sheet for Zeta. Going straight into the uh, Spear of Arvis. 
the SVA, which would be the Resolute Strike, my bad. First match, uh, first match, no, first round goes to uh, Shosan, very nicely done. So Resolute Strike, then we have the Serious Roar, we have Rhapsody, uh, Rhapsody, and the Spear of Arvest. Okay, that should be fine. What's her uh, Fireball? It's the Infinite Wonders, okay, the Wonders, then. Here we go with the Spear, the Spear of Arvest. Into the Brave Strike, into some more Spear of Harvest. Ultimate goes for the Empty Low. Into the uh, Wonders. Ultimate for the Juggle. And again, the Spear of Harvest. Into the uh, Rhapsody. And goes for the Save Jump again, man. Ab again. Using, well, doesn't have much more uh, choice than to use his uh, Brave Counter in order to get pressure off of him. And man, again with the Spear of Harvest Ultimate. And this should be it. Quick first match for Shosa, so I'm not going to lie. That is a pretty, pretty hard right there. Let's see how he can deal with this pressure. Big Rhapsody to hop over Abigan right there. Goes for it. Oh, the take pressure. And Abigan said, nope. Stop trying to, to cheat your way in. Big to you right there from uh, Shosa. Drops the combo though. Goes for the X Wonders into the Spear of Arvis. Brave counter for the juggle into the SBA. The uh the 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 the, the uh, Serious Roar no the the resolute strike. Okay, it should be fine now. I should uh, have the names down. Oh lord, air to wear in favor of Shosan wants to get out of the corner and rightfully so uses uh, the in the uh counter frames of the Rhapsody to get to uh, punish Abigan's uh attempt to 6 6 pm. And the first uh, round of the second match goes to Shosan gets the 6-6 speed yet again. Goes for the close-up pressure. Goes for a delayed aerial Spear of Harvest in order to bait the grab and punish him accordingly. That was huge. And again, the Spear of Harvest for the juggle. Into potentially a safe jump. Yes, it is. Big safe jump right there. Oh, big 2 HS though. Finally, Abigan getting out of the corner. Forces Shosan to use. Oh, Lord, is that going to kill? Yes, it is. Man, Shosan on fire, man. Wow, that is a very, very strong player today. Definitely a contender to uh, take it all. I'm not going to lie. Abigan looked hmm, seeming like he's struggling a bit, but it is only understand it's understandable. I mean, the matchup itself is probably not in favor of Lodiva. Well, I don't particularly know, but my uh, instinct would tell me that the matchup is probably not in uh, the favor of Lodiva. Yeah. Woo! Big wake up brave, uh, brave strike right there from Abigail, who tried to counter the uh, brave strike attempt from Shosan. Wow, that was so sneaky. And again, the brave counter from Abigail. Abigail definitely struggling right now. Gets the hit on the whiffed brave strike right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill, obviously, but definitely going to do a lot of damage. Oh, and he gets the hit with the ultimate. Screwdriver. Abigail finally puts one on the board. It's not over till it's over. Not by any means. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, big Spear of Harvest and Tire right there. And the horizontal version, too. Let's see. Here we go with the safe jump. Goes for an empty grab. Abigail getting grabbed this time around. Here we go with the empty standing P. Into the Wonders X. Into the Spear of Harvest X for the juggle. Another Spear of Harvest to set up the wake up. Goes for the empty low. And Abigail unfortunately gets it by the... Uh, Oh, well, by, by death. <laughs> and unfortunately, takes a perfect in the teeth. But it's fine. It's Abigail. Abigail going to bring it back. We all believe in him. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Spear of Harvest as a punishment to his grab attempt. Shosan definitely pressing some buttons right there. We're good with the raw Spear of Harvest. It's his target. Wow, that punish, though. A little bit too far to, to get the follow-up uh, Brave Strike, though. Go the spirit, uh, the spirit of harvest, and the freaking confirms, and you are in Mix City, sir. Ooh, drops it though. No problem. We have to grab. Ooh, what was that? What was that? That was so sick. I have no idea whether it was intentional, but oh, the SSB is not gonna kill. Yes, it is. Abigail is not out of this yet. 
Come in my arms, mama! Come! Boom! <laughs> Good stuff from Ab again. Puts one on the board. He's not over. He's not over, guys. We need to believe in the power of love. That's what we that's how we roll. Ooh, nice punish right there. And unfortunately for Abigan hits the Rhapsody straight into the face. Nice tick from him again. In the corner, has to hold it. Ooh, gets out with the jump out. Gets the headbutt. Here we go with the extension station into the Lariat. Into the grab me some fun. I have no idea how it's called in real life. The devoted body slam. Okay, I need to call it the, the body slam. Good stuff from Ab again. Gets the opening. He's got ooh, he's got Chosan thinking a bit right now, eh? Let's go, let's go Ab again. Okay, let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Ooh, that big jump over the wonder too far to get the hit with the two Hugo. Here we go. Ooh, wow, Chosan going very very deep right there. Catches Ab again trying to. Uh, Trying to tick a uh, normal, which is unfortunate for him. I begin with the brave counter. Trying to bait the Rhapsody, I'm pretty sure. Too far to get the hit, though. This is so unfortunate. Again, here we go. Ooh, the close-up pressure. I begin trying to bait these brave counters, man. This is like a, a strategy I feel like I should be implementing, too. Ooh, big Spear of Harvest. Almost got the freaking follow-up. And I begin with no brave points in order to... Uh, counter this uh, brave strike attempt from uh, Shosan succumbs to it and unfortunately uh, loses this uh, second round. This is a match point if Abigan does not win this. Oh lord, straight into the Rhapsody. You get to see it. Here we go with Shosan. Now this pans out. Yeah, Abigan with the X Lariat. Gets it straight by the brave counter. Here we go with the jump in. Abigan not out of it yet. Goes for the headbutt. We go with the con ah, the conversion station. Wow! And he made it the wake up counter though. That was sick. That was sick. Okay, here we go with the big X. Ooh! Dear to it. No! He had the correct read! Why? Why did it whip? This is so unfortunate. And yeah, yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage, but the worst part is that now you're in limbo, you're in mixed land, sir. And this is gonna be the it. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Yep. Shosan going straight into the SSBA. In other words, straight into the serious roar for the kill. And it is the kill. Good lord, it went down to the wire. But man, that was... I did not get my uh, Super C and buff, though. What the hell? I should have my Super C and buff. Why is it not coming? Maybe I should restart it. Okay, let's restart it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One second, guys. Mm. <clears throat> okay, we're good to go. So I'm fine. Okay, and uh, let me restart this shit as well. Sorry, guys. Huh? I'll be with you guys. Just a split second. Okay. Fine, this is fine. Very good. Okay, this time around is going to be Gran versus uh, Siegfried. I do believe that Gunfight is a master uh, rank. He's not F, by the way. I don't know why, but for some reason, sometimes uh, the ranks don't read correctly in uh, lobbies. For some reason, I have no idea why, but it is what it is. Let's see how this pans out. And uh, here we go with Siegfried and his very, very annoying uh, special names. Let's see if I can remember them correctly. I'll just take out my cheat sheet real quick. Okay, so I remember Orkin. I, I think it was Orkin. So, where is it? Okay, so Nelanav, Messenger, Messenger is a DP. Messager Verdrengren is the slam. And then we have Orkin for the, okay, the mix ups. And, okay, good. the rest is fine. Like, ultimate Messenger, we don't care. The Schwarz of Fang and the Blood of the Dragon, okay. Let's try to remember it. Ah. 
Here we go with the rising sword right there. Thank you very much for the follow, Commander Ban, and welcome to the Brojos. Sag indeed, General Jenkins. I was really rooting for uh, Abigail, actually. That being said, here we go with Galleon getting that grab. And using the Brave Counter to keep Gunfight in the corner. And here we go with... Oh, Lord, big guard break. Didn't go for the follow-up because he wanted Gunfight to use his Brave Counter in order to... Not get hit by it. And that's unfortunate for Gunfight getting hit by the follow-up Brave Strike into an unblockable first match goes to Gillian. Let's see. Oops, uh, by the way, let me update uh, the flags. I'm very sorry to uh, Gillian. Gillian is actually from South Korea. Yeah, here you go. <clears throat> there you go with the grab from Gillian. Uh, trying to go for another grab and another grab. But Gunfight uh, taking them accordingly. This time around gets the grab in. Oh, forcing Gunfight to pop the uh, reverse counter. Ooh, big rising sword right there from Galleon, who gets the far HS for the kill. Oh lord! Here we go with the boot! And Gunfight said, nope, I'm gonna send a messenger on your ass. To get you off of mine. We go with the boot again from Galleon, trying to push Gunfight in the corner and does so successfully. Goes for another grab, but Gunfight this time around. Uh, ticked accordingly, unfortunately, for him got hit by the... Uh, how do you call it? That's a very good question, actually. I don't know. Let's see. And... Grand, Grand, Grand. Okay, so Grand has the Catastrophe, Eternal Edge, and the Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade, got it. Okay, big SBA right there from Gunfight. Gonna take the uh, first round of the second match. Rising Sword, Lady Lave, Brave Counter, Power Scale, Front Power Rave, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, we're good. Should be fine. Oh, you're good. And here we go with uh, D66L right there from Gillian. Trying to get a reaction. Ooh, got the big boot right there on counter hit, but wasn't able to get a follow up. Yeah. And again, the wake up messenger from Gunfight. Gunfight trying to go for the grab a little bit out of range, though. Gillian answering with a grab of his own and should be able to get the kill with a corner combo. Gillian taking the second match as well. On the verge of uh, eliminating Gunfight from uh, the tournament. Let's see if Gunfight can make a comeback. We shall see. Big jump in right there from Gillian. Gets draws first blood. Gets the sweep as well. Gunfight this time around, holding on to... Ooh, Lord, getting hit by the 6-6 six, six Speedle. Ooh, again, man, and the far S counter hit right there. He's gonna make way for a large amount of damage right there. And Gillian Gore for the grab. Ooh, he's got the freaking guard break down. Gillian, man, on the point of sending Gunfight out of the tournament. Let's see how this spins out. We go with the Leggy Lave. Gillian pushing his opponent ever so slightly in the corner. Goes for the Rising Sword. Oh, and gets the Whip Punish with the follow-up sending you into a pretty hefty combo in the corner. Goes for the grab yet again. Good fight. Finally forced to pop the... Oh, counter it, but nah. This is going to be killed by the Eggs Boot. Good stuff from Gillian eliminating. Welcome to the Brojo. Hmm. <clears throat> Okie dokie, breads and cookie, here we go. It's gonna be Sushi versus Tsuzura. Tsuzura rocking none other than Luane. Now, this is pretty surprising. Uh, it's definitely a change in character right there. Okay, let's see, Luane is not a character I do know a lot. Well, I don't know much, many characters in this game anyway. At least they're uh, special attack things. Let's see, Luane, 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 where are you? Luane and Anila, 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 you are here. here. <laughs> and Loen using the robot Katarina to get the corner pressure. Trying to send Sushi in the corner. Just nice and easy. Here we go with. Ah, oh, Tsuzura going for the cross up. Uh, trying to go for the grab, but unfortunately got hit by the vanity right there from Sushi. And again with the wake up ultimate vanity. This time around, Sushi got the hit in. And getting the hit. Oh no! 
Unfortunately, Sushi got hit by a uh, robot Catalina right there with the rockets. Coming at me, bro. Coming, dude. Awesome sauce. Magnificent tool of destruction. Oh, dear, dear. Tool of destruction. Human pyramid attack. Totally rad dude. Okay, this is fine. Try this on for a size. Okay, got it. And here we go with uh, the super punch for the kill by Sushi gets the second round. Actually, pretty convincing. How do you call it? The Gilded Heaven Strike. Okay. And the Fury of the Ram. And the Fury of the Ram. Look at that. That's interesting. And here we go with the come at me, bro. Again, man. Ooh. Sees it out with the corner pressure. Ooh, gets the hit right there. Gonna get the juggle using none other than the. the, 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 the. Which one is it? The awesome sauce. Okay. Got it. Oh, here we go. The fluff him, fluff him. Ah, corner pressure. Into the. Ooh! Sushi baiting that. Uh, come at me, bro, right away. No, unfortunately, got hit by the cross up right there from Tuzura. And Tuzura with the. Uh, Sammy and Tommy uh, mix. Gets the hit with the brave strike and the kill as well. First match goes. To Tsuzura, very nicely done. Okie dokie, bread and cookie on to the next battle. Oh, here we go with the eggs vanity right there from Sushi. Does not want to deal with the pressure. Very nice for HS right there from Tsuzura. Gets the. <laughs> wow, and that aerial grab from Sushi goes again with the grab in order not to get hit by the come at me, bro. But Tsuzura woke up with the. Awesome sauce ultimate. And here we go with the freaking cross up from Susan. I'm gonna get the wall grab. The wall grab, the wall break, not the wall break, the wall bounce. I'm gonna get it eventually. The wall bounce with the awesome sauce. Getting hit by the, um, the what's it called? The, um, what's it called? I forgot. The, um, the, the, the brace strike. And here we go with. None other than Yggdrasil for the kill. Susan takes the first round of this uh second match tommy and sammy out for the rescue <laughs> gets it unfortunately but the fluff and fluff and from sushi and sushi trying to go for the grab unfortunately gets crossed uh crossed up right there by tsuzura gonna get a pretty decent amount of damage right there and here you go with the uh weapons of mass destruction into the come at me bro no grabs no air to air only sushi getting the fluff him x a juggle in the corner, Tsuzura with the Brave Counter, gonna get the cross up again, into the Brave Strike follow up, awesome sauce into the cross up, wow, look at this, are you serious, is that a thing, that's crazy, get fluff him, fluff him, again fluff him, fluff him, oh man, Tsuzura with the come at me bro, ultimate, getting out of danger, Oh no, and no entires right there, and this is going to cost Sushi the match. Suzuda getting a pretty nice lead 2 to 0. Uh, is Sushi gonna bring it back? We shall see. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I love Luane, such a funny character. Big, big, big awesome sauce X from Suzuda going for the Schmix, punishing the vanity attempt from Sushi and getting another corner combo. Look at the damage, here we go with the weapon of mass destruction into the grab. And Sushi waking up with the ultimate vanity. Trying to bait that uh, come at me bro, successfully did so, but Tuzura went for the, went for the uh, ultimate version. And unfortunately that brought him a little bit out of range for punish. He sounds like a British boy. Uh. <laughs> I, he reminds me of a let's all chat. Let's all chant, yeah. Let's all chat. It reminds me of this yeah, for some reason. Well, it was probably the um, intended effect, I think. I, I hope so. But it definitely reminds me of this. But I love Lo Wayne. Such a funny, a funny character. <laughs> like when he grabs you and say he says, um, "What did he say?" He said, "Fly away." <laughs> I love it when he says this. Fly away. But maybe this is only in the first version of the game, not the rising version, because I don't think he says it anymore. But I find it so funny when he says it. Really cracks me up. Anyways, uh, Sushi getting one round right there, just staying alive. That being said, we are still on set point. 
if Sushi loses this one, he will be eliminated from the tournament. Fortunately for him, very nice backdash right there. Fortunately for him, he did not get hit by it. And so she goes straight into the come at me, bro. He still says it when Oh really he does? That is perfect. I need to I need to I need to fight against more low aim then. I really love it when he says it. Flap your way! <laughs> the way that he says it is so funny. It just cracks me up all the time, man. I don't I really don't know why it just cracks me up. Fly away! <laughs> Anyways, there we go with Susan and the Juggle. Not enough to kill too far to get the Juggle. Okay, here we go with the Fluff him, Fluff, Fluff, Fluff him, Fluff him. Gets the Juggle with the corner. Oh, and now everybody gets hit by the follow-up. So she out of harm's way. Just needs one hit and then it's going to be it. Fluff him, Fluff him. No, the rocket and the Juggle off of the rocket for the kill. Susan. I love the character. I love seeing him play. Like it's really, really fun. Anyways, this is Samega versus William. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the first battle. Great start of the game with the Ray, Ray, Raylene, Reagan, Lave, Lave, Reagan, Lave. Okay, I got it. The Reagan Lave. Oh no! A block, rising sword right there from Gillian. Gonna be yeah. Gonna have to take a lot of damage again. Wakes up with the same rising sword. And Samega punishing him accordingly should have access to the SSBA. The SBA actually, and this should be it? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is gonna kill for sure. Oh damn, did I just Yes you did! You missed Fly Away! But it's fine, he's still he's still in the tournament. You're you're gonna see him in the next match as well, so stay tuned. Don't worry. As soon as this uh this set is finished, you're gonna see him. Big 2 HS counter hit right there from Gillian. Guy Lian, maybe it's how you pronounce it. Guy Lian, I suppose. Uh, and Galian with the corner pressure goes for a very, very deep grab. Goes again for the grab, but man, Samega getting hit by the rising sword. Oh, caught standing right there, and the perfect from Galian, man. Damn, that was a, that was very, very impressive. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. Oh Lord, and Samega with the wake up, freaking the wake up to you, man. Only Ladiva players do this. Oh, very nice bait on the boot, but man, a little bit too early. He tried to go for a reset into the uh, the pile driver. Uh, how do you call it? It's not the pile driver. It's a wow, the confirms though. Into the body slam. Very nicely done. And the wake up rising sort of course by Gailian. Does not want to have to oh endure any pressure. Big headbutt right there. Not enough to kill. Nice nah, not enough to kill. Into the body slam, perhaps? Nope, into the headbutt, into the body slam, enough to kill maybe. No, just a little bit into the overhead. Good stuff from Samega takes the first match. Good lord. Ah, that was pretty nice. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie. Here is the second match. Wow, Gailian tried to enter with the standing HS. Unfortunately, he was a little bit out of range. Resorted to using the sweep instead in order to get the knockout. Oh lord, again, Samega, man, with the jump outs, not afraid. A big, uh. Oh lord, and that cross understanding S, man, anti air. That was very nicely done by Gadi, and unfortunately did not confirm his X boot. And got body slammed, no, got pile driver, screwdriver because of it. With a tick pressure, very nice confirm from Gailian, gets the tick pressure, and this should be it. Into the uh, Brave Strike, and the uh, Standing S for the kill. Nicely done by Gailian, definitely not out of it yet. Here we go with the jump, and unfortunately badly timed right there from Gailian. Got hit on his way down. And the body slam, boom! Ooh, again with a block boot. What is going on with Gailian? This is not good right there. He's gonna have to deal with a ton of damage right there. Stayed into the body slam. Kaboom! Ooh! Nice grab right there from Gallian. Tried again to go for the grab and again with the X boot. What is going on? Gallian's confirms are not on point right now. Definitely going to have to be careful or else he will definitely uh, be losing. Uh, how do you call it? Well, uh, He's going to be losing rounds. <laughs> what else can I say? Okay, here we go with... Ooh, the attack builder right there from Gailian. 
Oh, nice confirm. Okay, this time around, this was confirmed. Samega with the butt, uh, the headbutt. Though goes for the wow, the ambiguous jump in though. How do you block this with the guard button, of course? Oh lord, guard break and immediately Samega resorted to, uh, to, oh, to brave counter. Is that gonna be it though? Let's see. No, not enough. And here we go with the wake up Bahamut. Oh, but Samega knew that it was coming and spot dodge into the screwdriver for the kill. Samega up to the zero. What is Guy Lian gonna do? Things are looking pretty bleak for him, I'm not gonna lie. And what a perfect BGM for this particular match. For this particular Ladiva match right now. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, here we go with the spot dot from uh, Samega. Ooh, getting hit by the Rising Sword, though. Okay, big sweep right there from... Ooh, Samega, unfortunately, got grabbed by Gylian. Gylian again with the grab. Goes for the grab again. Goes for the grab again. <laughs> oh, here we go, the boot. He's got the uh, side switch, though. Definitely not intended. Oh, now it dropped. This is not the moment to drop your combo, sir. Not in the bro hookup, sir. It does not, not, it does not forgive. Okay, God, yeah. Ooh, almost got hit by the. Ooh, was that intentional? If that was the case, that was so crazy. Good lord. Sob Jellyfish, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. I hope you had a wonderful stream and welcome to you and your community to the bro hookup, the very first one for Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising and the brisket music indeed. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, bro, and thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. Much love. And here we go with the ah uh, the, the 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 corner pressure. Galian with them links, getting them juggles, but getting a uh, grab on his Okizeme attempt. Here we go with the headbutt into the lariat X and the body slam. Boom, kaboom. What is Galian gonna do? He got it by the guard break right on wake up. Ooh, nice whip punish from Gylian. Goes for the la railing, Regin Lave. Oh, big Rising Sword. It's not over till it's over. Gylian, definitely wary of that SSBA right there. He does not want to get hit by it. Oh, no! Oh, no! And just like this, I mean, I think it's going to happen again versus Suzuna. This is the pro potentially, well, uh, the last match of a uh, loser's bracket before the semifinals, basically. The loser's semifinal, that is. So the one who uh, wins this is going to make his way to the loser's semifinal. Let's see, who is that going to be? Have again with the headbutt right there. Gets the corner positioning. Gets the lariat into the body slam. Kaboom. Boom. Good stuff. Where is Suzu going to wake up with? Goes with Sammy and Tommy to get some leeway out of the corner. Goes into the awesome sauce. Tried to go for the cross up though, but firstly mistimed his uh, timing. And it ended up whiffing. We're going with the rockets. Sammy and Tommy always here uh, to come and play. Big brave strike for the extension station into the awesome sauce X. And here we go to the other side of the corner. Of course, because why the hell not? Wow, that was a sick freaking mix. Not enough to kill though. Abigail lives to fight another day, but has to deal with them rockets. Oh, try to go for a Ooh lot! No! Try to go for a um yeah a lariat, but man. Yep, Suzura using the uh, Come At Me Bro ultimate version for the kill. Suzura takes the first round. And up to the next battle. Oh, you did not see this. Abigail catching Suzura, sleeping right there using the... Uh, I have no idea how you call it. What the hell do you call this? Let me check real quick. Uh, let me check real quick. Where is, is uh, Ladiva, Ladiva, Ladiva? Here we go. I won again, my yo! Uh, I actually don't know. I have no idea how you go. It says you? Uh, is it his you? Hurl. I love grapple. Okay, love grapple. That's gotcha. right. It's the love grapple. Okay, we got it. Anyways, here we go with uh, the screwdriver from Ab again. Successfully managing to hit it. Oh, lord! This counter is so quick to recover, though. 
Can you go with the Lariat? Close up pressure and Ab again sniffing that come at me, bro, from Tuzuda. Now Tuzuda waking up with the ultimate come at me, bro, this time around. Into the awesome sauce. And again, the come at me, bro. And this time around, Ab again, knowing that it was coming, punishes in perfect fashion into the SBA. Into infinite love. That's not how it's called, but I don't care. I actually do care. Into maximum love bomb. It just doesn't sound the same. Anyways, on to the next battle. Let's see if Tuzura can make a comeback. Oh, by the way, yeah, Abigan is up 1 to 0. We go with Tuzura and the close up pressure using Tommy and Sammy for extended pressure. And again, yep, Tommy and Sammy for the mix up into the awesome sauce. Gonna get a. Yep, a cross under, but who cares? We're bringing you to the end of the other, of the of the um, of the level, to the other corner. Again, Tommy and Sammy, man, but man, Abigail finds the perfect timing to get out of the corner. Goes for the lariat into the juggle state, into the love bomb, coast to coast, exactly. Oh, that's not the love bomb. That's the SSBA. Good lord. Okay. The uh, the shape of love. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, 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 the pyramid. Here we go. You got a block. Yeah, this is death. This is... Oh, yeah. This... Yeah, that, that, that was death right there. Good stuff from Tuzula. Gets the second round of... Uh, the first round of the second map. Let's see if you can bring it back. Oh! And the pile driver, the screwdriver for the punish on the... Oh lord, caught you sleeping. Oh, that was definitely a input uh, error, but it's still okay. Abigail still has the advantage. Gonna go... Oh lord. And gets the punish. That was so sick. Was that what he really wanted? If that's the case, that was sick. The perfect reach from Abigail with a perfect result, by the way. Good stuff from Abigail, man. Definitely taking the lead right now. One round, one... Uh, one match. Tuzura trying to get the grab, but man, again gets hit by the screwdriver. Oh, and the 6-6 P into the head, but this is going to do a lot of damage. All things considered. Body slam for the follow-up. Oh, and unfortunately for Tuzula, I got hit by the wake-up. By the wake-up. Uh, Grave Strike into the uh body into how do you call it? Damn it i keep forgetting the 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 shape of no the maximum love bomb the love bomb i need to remember that was supposed to be a tick throw okay okay my bad my bad that's good to know oh again here we go again man with the headbutt into the command grab we go with the grab this time around suzuda getting the side switch using the grab Oh, here we go, the air-to-air -air trades, and again with the freaking patience of Abigail, but he didn't punish accordingly, but still got the screwdriver out of it. Uh oh Oh, the big lariat ultimate, and this should do Abigail, man, on set point. One more win from him, and he will be making his way to the loser semifinal. Let's see if he can make it happen or not. Man, the big command grab from Ab again. He's looking very, very good right now. With the corner pressure gets the body slam. Oh, the big standing in the close age. This is this is death. This is death. Here you go with the love bomb. This is, yeah, no, not even no love bomb. Yes, love bomb. We do. Ab again using the love bomb just to make sure and takes the kill. Very, very, very convincingly. Uh, Versus, thank you very much for the oh, yeah, Guardian san, arigato daimas, lay the state and the yato daimas, mata, it to kikagareba ze hi mata, jikai no, taikai nimo go sanka krasai, otskai sama de sa. And here we go with the next battle. This is the winner's final, and I hope we don't have a connection error. We don't! Perfect! Perfect, no connection error. I hate connection errors, so I'm happy that we didn't have one. Arigato daimas, Guardian san. And here we go with the Orkin. I'm sorry, guys. I really cannot bring myself to remember the names of the specials of 
of freaking Siegfried. I will, eventually I will, I promise you I will, but it's not very intuitive. Anyways, uh, let's see, Orkin? Is it? Nelanav, Messenger, Orkin. These are the three moves I really need to remember. And then we're good to go. Anyways, here we go with the Rhapsody. Hello, Mother Humper as well. How are you doing? Oh, the blade, the, the Spear of Harvest right there from Shosan wanting to open up Battletech and successfully doing so. Battletech not having any crystals left if he gets hit by the Brave Strike. He is going to forfeit a lot of life. That being said, life he does not have anymore. Good first round right there from Shosan takes it very convincingly. Let's see if Bartorek can bring it back. We shall see. And ah, uh, Shosan, very nice spot dodge right there, uh, right there, not to get hit by the nav, but gets hit by the Orkin though. Are there any Belial players in the turn? No, unfortunately, they're all uh, all eliminated. There was one, but unfortunately, we couldn't see him on the on the stream, unfortunately. So everybody's out. No more Belial. We have. Currently, the remaining players are two Ladivas, one Siegfried, and one uh, one Zeta. One Zeta. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. And uh, here we go on to the next battle. And the next round, actually. And Zeta getting... Not Zeta. Shosan getting a lot of mileage right there with the Spear of Arvis. You're welcome, Snicks, no problem. And, oh, here go the Rhapsody, unfortunately. Uh, not very nicely uh, timed. Okay, guys, let me just uh, try something, because it's bugging me. Just gonna try something real quick. Don't pay attention to me. Uh, I'm gonna try this out, because I feel like it's not working correctly. And it's bugging me. Because I want it to work. Oh, it's working, okay. Anyway, it's fine. And here we go with the SSBA and the Spear of Harvest for the kill. Shosan takes the first match. Pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. Oh, you're good to go. And ooh, wow, Shosan immediately going for the 6-6 speed, catching Bartorek off guard. Bartorek with, oh, the corner pressure. Hit the Rhapsody, unfortunately, and goes straight for the Messenger to get out of harm's way. Oh lord, again with the 6 HP Shosan, getting to its est, though it wasn't a counter hit, so couldn't really get anything out of it. Here we go with the juggles, and look at the damage! Look at the damage! Why is that normal? Why is that a thing? So crazy. Anyways, here we go with Bartarek and the Orkin. The Orkin? The Orkin? The Orkin. Oh, and the SBA! Got the hit in, not enough to kill though! And the freaking wake up Spear of Harvest, not enough to kill any! The delayed wonders! Uh, is it wonder? I think it's wonder. Yeah, wonder something. Read the name. Da, 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 da. Infinite wonders, yeah, I was, I was right. Good stuff! Damn, the dive kick! Ooh, this is gonna be a big corner juggle! Shosan with the Spear of Harvest juggle, gonna go for the. Oh wow, that was unfortunate. Definitely not wanted right there. Yeah, no Spear of Harvest, but Rap Steady for the save. Zeta mains are just built. Yeah, they are, man. <laughs> they definitely are, man. It's crazy. Look at the damage output, though. It's really crazy. I love this Mario. Super Mario Land 2 on Game Boy. What a great game. That being said, second match for Shosan. As well, definitely looking very, very, very good uh, in this tournament. Hasn't lost a single set as of now. Or a single match for that. Oh, no, he did lose a match, I think. I'm not quite sure. That means, oh, he did lose a match uh, against uh, Abigan. Yeah, actually, I do believe so. That being said, here we go with the Spear of Arvis. And Shosan with the tick pressure gets the grab. Goes for the... Oh, doesn't go for the hop. I tried to go for the grab, but man, Baltorek said, nope, you're not grabbing me. Are there VODs of this story or any past? Uh, so, this is the first time I do host tournaments very regularly. 
but mainly for Guilty Gear Strive, this is the first time I do it for Gil Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So this is literally the first uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus uh, tournament that I host. And I will be uploading uh, edited VODs of this tournament on my YouTube page, which you can find over at this link. And it's going to be fully edited, meaning that, that you won't have any in-between matches. Only the matches themselves will be available. And you can just check it out once it's uh, uploaded. My estimated time lapse for uploading it will be probably on Wednesday, probably. Yeah, more certainly on, on Wednesday, yeah. You can expect it on Wednesday. And a big perfect from Shosan. Taking it a clean three to... Festiva indeed. Once again, guys. Oh, yeah, we're good to go. And this is the loser semi-final. Let's see who's going to take it and uh, have a chance to fight against Bartarok in the uh, loser's final. And first blood drawn is that of Abigan. Samega doing a good job of pushing Abigan in the corner. Oh, this Lediva play is so hot. I know, right? It's really good to see. I love Lediva. What a great character as well. Here we go with the Lariat into the body slam. Kabrrrr! Boom! Good stuff. Oh, from Sami got catching Abigail sleeping right there. And the corner juggle for the kill. Very nicely done from Sami. Let's see if Abigail can bring it back. We shall see. And on to the second round. Ooh, big jump in right there from Abigail. Oh, from uh, Sami, I'm sorry. Who gets the screwdriver in? Oh, the follow up. Here we go. The fake. The fake 6 6 feet. Oh wow, the freaking spot done from Abigail gets a pretty nice punish in the in the process. Ooh, and ooh lord. Yeah. So plus, ooh, I don't know if it was intended. Probably Samega had an input error. He probably wanted to input the uh, screwdriver there. Unfortunately got a jump and uh probably not actually. No, he was looking for the air grab because I don't believe that the screwdriver you can do a screwdriver in the air, so it was probably a whiffed air grab. He was expecting Abigail to jump out of pressure. Yeah, yeah, it was intended. My bad. Oh, definitely, Ladiva is clearly, clearly Zangief with long hair. I mean, even the name of her uh, her command grab, screwdriver. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. This is definitely like it was intended. It was definitely intended. First match goes to uh, Samega. Though. Let's see if Abigail can bring it back. You can SP- Oh, you can? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I didn't know you could. But is it the same, uh, the same, uh, how do you call it? Um, is it the same, uh, execution? So you need to do, like, a 360 and then do it in the air? Or is it, like, a different one? Well, I wasn't aware. That's good to know. Thanks for the, uh, there's no universe. Uh, they are trying to jump back. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, got it. Thanks for the, the heads up. Okay, the more you know. That's cool. The more you know. Yeah, I want to reach a level of commenta uh, commentaries that's at least decent for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And I'll, I'll get to it. I just need to get used to the names of of the specials and whatnot. That being said, here we go with all oh, the empty freaking ultimate screwdriver from the kill by Abigail. Takes the freaking second, the first round of the second match. Let's see if he can uh, take the second one, the second round as well. So that he can tie it up. We shall see. Big headbutt right there from Samega. And get the corner uh, the corner carry into the body slam. Boom. To the skies. Exactly. And again with the screwdriver. Samega looking pretty good. Ooh, Lord. Oh, no. And he got the bait on the wake up. Ultimate headbutt. Good stuff from Abigail. We're going to do, a, yeah, quite a decent amount of damage. Not enough to kill whatsoever, obviously. Whoa, and the wake up SBA from Abigail. The bomb of love, the love bomb. The bomb of love. What the hell does that even mean? The love bomb. And again, Abigail. 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 Is he going to get the kill? I think he is. No, he's not. No, and the wake up is SBA. <laughs> not like this. Not like this! This is death. Yeah, this is clearly death. Good stuff from... From Samega. You hate to see it. No! Not like this. That was so unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Good stuff from Samega. Good stuff from Samega. We're not gonna take it away from you. I am definitely not. Good stuff, though. And here we go with the corner pressure. 
with the body slam from Ab again getting big counter hits right there forcing the brave counter from oh Sammy made look at the cojones on Ab again man goes for the cross up probably not intended but it's still fine oh lord and the freaking head but almost got the kill he tried to go for the tu for the juggle and the lariat for the kill Ab again taking the second match we have a tie ladies and gentlemen one match apiece what is gonna happen we shall see oh lord big spartan kick right there headbutt for positive frames and same got drawing for his blood gonna get the corner carry and down you go sir boom get out of here oh lord yeah you can see abigan definitely looking for them uh for them brave strike wake ups for them brave strike meaties big freaking screwdriver he tried to go for another screwdriver but the summer else Omega was looking for it nice block on the overhead though oh and again with the screwdriver the summer from Samega. Samega definitely wary of the wake up options of Abigan and Abigan with the <gasps> what the freak was that that's so unfortunate it's not over till it's over though oh lord oh oh the one the one how do you call it the the, the one you're on the one you're on Ladiva <laughs> that was a pr pretty interesting clash. I like it. And the empty jump grab from Abigan for the kill. Abigan on the verge of getting the lead. Let's see how this pans out. The same brain cell. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you very much, General Jenkins. Thank you for translating my thoughts right now. I'd like to remind viewers that I am not a native English speaker, by the way. So if you hear me say some very strange a natural english sentence or you know even um how do you say it um well sentence and and overall expressions please do not be offended by it. it's just me not speaking correct english okay <laughs> let's just let's just be let's just uh yeah I'm, i just want to be as as uh transparent as possible <laughs> yeah i do yeah well i try to speak uh, english but yeah i speak english french and french is my mother tongue and a bit of japanese yeah and that being said, look at this, look at the damage, not enough to kill, yes it is! Samega, man, putting one on the board, one round on the board, that is. Let's see if he's able to take it. Oh my lord, that's, ooh, nice, freaking confirm right there from Samega, gonna go for, yeah, oh, the normal pressure, Abigan just jumping out of harm's way. Gonna get a pretty nice follow-up combo as well, goes for the 6 XP into the ultimate lariat. Yes, Amiga forced. Oh, Lord, Samega with. Oh, man. Oh, the same cell. And the grab. <laughs> and the grab, man. Good stuff. Not enough to kill the. Oh, here we go. The 6 XP. And the headbutt. Oh, nice confirm from Abigan. This is a sick match, guys. I don't know what you think about it, but this is a sick, ma a sick match. This should be the kill with the SBA. With the love bomb cup. Boom. Abigan takes the lead. 2 to 1. Let's see if he can seal the deal. One more match is all that is needed for him to make his way to the loser's final. You're stealing so much tech. That's good to hear, man. That's why we're here, man. That's how we do all of these really, really nice tournaments. So people can see how other people, uh, how other players from other region play their matches. So I'm really, really happy to get this opportunity to showcase this to the world. So thank you very much for uh, checking the, the streams. All of you guys, man. That's it's really, really awesome. And here we go with Abigan with the screwdriver grab and the wake up head, but from Samega gonna go for the follow up um, lariat. Okay, big brief counter and gets the freaking call out on the ultimate headbutt. Here we go with the knockdown and the empty freaking jump into the ultimate screwdriver. Not enough to kill, not by any means. That being said, he does have the corner pressure and had again with the ultimate head but seal the deal one more round for the win for abigan to make his way to the final round we shall see is he able to do so okay and here we go with the jump and ooh, the freaking clash and abigan was quicker to react to the follow-up and gets a pretty nice punish not gonna into the screwdriver let's see how this spins out Big HS right there into the ultimate. Wow, the freaking call out the aerial SPD. Abigan, Abigan, man. Abigan out of his mind right now. What was that? I don't know, but it's so good. Big 2HS though from 
Samega, knowing that Abigail was gonna go to try to sniff out his, um, well, anything attempt on Wake Up, and went for the 2HS to punish his jump out, and this should do with the SSBA. Samega not out of this yet, we should not discount him at all. One, two, let's go for the kill. Good stuff from Samega. Not out of this yet, not out of this yet. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Nice with punish from Abigail. Does not get the follow up though. Went for the third headbutt, which is punishable, but Abigail again jumping out of harm's way, man. Gonna get the juggle, the uh, ground pound. Kaboom! Into the body slam. Fortunately got hit by D2D right there. And Samega gonna go for the reset. Screwdriver, you ain't did it. You ain't did it. Ooh, big head button up again, 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 jumping out of the corner. He's been doing this so many times. And it's been working out for him so much. He does have a full gauge of SBI. Tried to read it, but yeah. Good reach from Samega. Baiting, not baiting, but not getting hit by that SBA. And we go with the air. Freaking grab. Ooh! And too far to get the hit with the SSB. And just like this, Abigail takes it three to yeah, so I begin one this one. Let me update the uh what's it called the uh I forgot the name. The predictions. Here we go. And again versus Bardrick. Good lord! <clears throat> Thank you very much for the follow Mordesai and welcome to the Brojo! And uh, also thank you very much for the Brojo Pabu 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 <laughs> And welcome to the Brojo! Much appreciated! Good lord! Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Okay, we're good to go. Sorry for the wait. Okay, we're good. So, uh, Abigail Man was in the loser's bracket and now is making his way all uh, back, man, to the winner. Well, to the uh, to the to the grand final, actually. And for the person who redeemed the banana cayenne, uh, wait, wait, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. It's not this one. Here I am! Hello, I'm a banana! Hey! <laughs> You'll get to see me after this match is over. <laughs> Perfect! And here we go with the... Uh, the I guess it was the Orkin, probably with. Good stuff from Bartorek, takes the first match. Goes straight for a grab, man, and grabs Ab again. Accordingly, Ab again in the corner, has to deal with the pressure with the Nav. Oh, gets oh, out of pressure, uses the screwdriver to get some hits in, goes for the ultimate lariat. Bartorek using the uh, the brave counter in order to get, yeah, to push him out of it. <laughs> banana Kayan wa atode desu ne. Atode misemasu. I'm gonna show you Banana Kayan a little bit after this, uh, this, this match. No problem. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> Good lord. Everybody loves the banana. <laughs> Everybody loves the banana. Anyways, here we go with the... Oh, the brave counter right there from Abigail getting the ultimate lariat. And the kill in the process. Good stuff from Abigail. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> and good luck. I'm going to finish like a banana until the end of the... Until the end of the, of the, the stream, man. Oh, big organ right there, or kin right there from Bartorek went for the unlockable setup of uh, what's his name? I forgot the name of uh, of Siegfried into the organ again, and the nav and the uh, brave strike for the kill again. Second was that the first or second match? I think that was the second match actually. I'm not quite sure. No, that was the first match. My bad. Yo, Eon side, yo. That's to see your run. How are you doing? Yeah, man, I, I was, I told you, I told you, I, I was definitely gonna, gonna run some tourneys for this game. I absolutely love this game. I love everything that's Grand Blue related. It's like I'm actually pondering whether or not I'm gonna buy a uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, but uh, I, chances are I'm probably gonna do it as well. I'm really, really, really loving uh, the franchise, and I'm loving Grand Blue Fantasy Versus as well. So yeah, but thanks, man. Thanks for the the encouragement and the the good, uh, the good, the good words, man. Much appreciated. I'm a huge fan now, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. I'm glad I, I discovered it through fighting games too. But yeah, this game is so fun, man. It's just so entertaining. I really love it a lot. 
But yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be organizing other Grand Blue Fantasy Versus uh, tournament in the near future, for, for sure. For sure. Wasn't convinced by the first one, but uh, yeah, man, especially with the rollback right now, just it's just a pleasure to play it. Definitely. I wish they would put uh, Lediva in Relink, but how would they have her Powerbomb Giant Bus? Yeah, exactly. That's one of the... Um, that's a logistical, a logistic issue right there. Yeah, how would they put, how would they make her like do all of these ultimate uh, moves against like the very, very big bosses of the game? Yeah, but maybe one day we, we will. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to, if they want to put her in the game, they they probably can. But yeah, for now we'll see. How does Sabine suplex a train in FF6? <laughs> That's a very pertinent question, actually. If Sabine can suplex a train, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Lediva can can um, a love bomb, power bomb, uh, a Godzilla esque type of, of, of you know bosses in the game. Probably it's possible. Anything's possible if you put your heart in it. <laughs> if you believe enough, it should it should be possible. Anyways, here we go with Bartarek and the grab in the corner with the tick pressure right there. Abigan holding strong, getting hit by the six six speedo. With the juggle into the message. We go again with the grab up again. Definitely having his handful with just blocking right now. Trying to bait that message, but Bartarek holding strong, going for a repeated. Wow, wow. Using all of his freaking bar to get the kill. Bartarek up 2 to 0. Uh, 2 to 0, sorry. There we go. Let's see if Abigan can bring it back. It would be very surprising, but if he does, then he is the GOAT. Unquestionably. <laughs> Ab um, yeah, that was crazy, man. Big message X right there from Bartrek trying to get out of pressure's way. Gets the grab. Goes for the tick pressure. Bartrek. Oh, and the 2HS. This is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Look at the optimization station, too. Poor Abigan, man. This is going to do a lot of a lot of damage oh big Ooh. wow how did freaking Bartarek know that he had to spot dodge right there that was a sick 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 um reflexes straight into the brave strike to force Abigan to spend a brave point two yeah and likewise Abigan using his own brave point in order to force Bartarek to get rid of his and unfortunately for Abigan he gets Hit by D66P. We are on match point. Duh. If Bartrek wins this one, he will make his way to the grand final. Let's see if he can seal the deal or not. Big message. Message. Uh, reversal right there to force Abigan off of him. Ah, the bar is real from Abigan. Got a hit in and went for the reset. Actually, no reset. I'm sorry. Went for the combo into the ultimate screwdriver. Big grab right there from Abigan. And getting the full conversion station into the brave strike into the sba he's gonna do a lot of damage Good boom Let's see what's gonna happen oh the jump in Ooh, lord and the far h for the kill i do believe it's a fart and on to the next battle martyrex still not uh, still on set point here we go to 66 feet spraying for the reverse sweep exactly big sweep right there from abigin Oh, getting hit by the 6 p again. Oh, 2HS a little bit too late right there. And unfortunately got swept by Abigan. Ooh. Yeah, back to the neutral, man. And Bartarek this time around got baited. And Abigan punishing accordingly the messenger with a big combo, a big corner carry combo into the body slam. Kaboom. Woo, big body slam number two. Kaboom. Look at the damage. And he tried to go for a empty jump, but oh, the freaking confirms. Not enough to yeah do any real substantial damage, but got the punish on the headbutt attempt. Uh, Bartarek with uh, the corner pressure, forcing Abigan to spend some crystal to push him out. No, that was an unfortunately timed headbutt from Abigan. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, and Abigan with the spot dodge, not getting hit by the unblockable. And gets the sweep. Abigan staying alive. <laughs> Finally puts one on the board. That was so, so clutch. Good lord. As if Abigan can continue. Ah, good lord. And here we go to 6 6 yet again. 
into the Orkin. And the Tick freaking Thresher gets the Nav into the... I forgot the Ground Slam, what it's called. I need to check it out again. The uh, Verdrengen. Verdrengen. Ooh, big messenger blocks. And again, Ab again. Using the corner carry Lariat for some extended damage. Should be able to get the body slam. Can't wait to see the banana, but I'm all for the reserve suit. Don't worry, you'll get to see the banana for the remainder of the stream. With everybody that redeemed the banana, you can rest assured that until the end of the stream, I'm going to be a banana. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. We are on set point. Balturek definitely looking pretty good. Got the whiff punish right there. Goes for the 6-6 speed. And the big brave strike. Man, this is going to do a ton of damage. Oh, but that begin jumping out of the corner. Oh, almost got hit by the 5U right there. Abigan with the tick pressure. Fortunately for him, Balturek got out of the corner. And she almost stuffed it. Ooh, big. This is looking bad. And unfortunately for Ab again. Bartrek takes it. Actually not. He doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I th I'm sorry. I thought it was game point. It's not game point. This is set point, actually. If Bartrek takes it, it is over. It is over for Ab again. And he is sent out of the tournament. But if anybody can do it, it's definitely Ab again. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Big 6 speed. Very nice confirm from Bartrek, man. And here we go with the Brave Counter. Abigan with the Tick Throw, yo. Big headbutt again with the third headbutt. And Bartering not getting hit by the 2HS. That is very surprising. Ooh, Big Lariat into the freaking ultimate screwdriver. Oh, no. Bartering knowing that that was coming. Yeah, but, oh man, using all of his crystal to just get out of harm's way. Not enough to kill. Too far to get the conversion and the wake up head, but... Oh, and the empty freaking grab! No! <laughs> Abigan playing out of his mind and bringing it back. Two to two, yo. Good lord. Two to two. Abigan staying alive. Good lord. Is Abigan gonna do what... That was so clutch. That was so clutch, yo. Thank you very much for the follow, Rafar, and welcome to the Brojo. That was so freaking clutch. Wow, big confirm right there from Bartorek. Gonna get the... Uh, the... The, 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 the hit? The confirm. Uh, just one second, guys. And here we go, man, with the Orkin and Bartorek taking... The set, well, the, the the round. One more round is all is needed for Bartrek to make his way to the grand final. Let's see if he can do it. Big freaking frame trap. Is that the DN? Yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. And here we go with the corner pressure from Bartrek. Ooh, got the freaking confirmed. Goes for the Twitches. This should be it. Uh, this is not it, actually. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I lied. This is not it. I almost got the freaking wind punish. Oh, Lord. SSBA, here I go. Good Lord. Not enough to kill. Going to do a lot of damage, but not nearly enough. Oh, tried to go for the two of you. Yeah, yeah, that was just too much. Good stuff from Bar to it. Last match of the evening. Last match. <laughs> Good Lord. Come on, baby. Oh my god, he risked, yeah, he risked it all, man. Risked it all. Great stuff, Abigan. Yeah, man, that was really good stuff, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Anyways, here we go on to the next battle. This is the grand final. Shosan rocking that nice-looking Zeta versus none other than Siegfried. Let's see if Bartre can get his revenge from Shosan. Shosan has absolutely been killing it. Uh, not losing a single set uh, since the start of the night. Gotta stay up to support Bartorek. Yeah, man, Bartorek. I still have problems saying his name, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Bartorek with the big 2HS, man. That is gonna do a lot of damage. Not nearly enough to kill, obviously, but... Oh, Lord, the walk-up grab right there. And Bartorek catching Shosan, trying to go for one too many grabs. Punishes it accordingly with the Brave Strike. 
and gets the kill. And Shosan even dropped it. Yes, he did against Abigan, actually. He uh, won 3 to 1 against Abigan. Oh, uh, actually, let me check the bracket just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the case. Uh, Shosan, Shosan. Yeah, he dropped one game against Abigan. That's it. He won every single other, every single one after it. Yeah, very, very strong Zeta, not gonna lie. And here we go with the corner, man, and Shosan getting out of the corner. Let's go with the close up pressure. Goes for the 6 p gets the grab. Goes for the. For the hop. Shosan is like top one Shosan. Uh, is he? I, I, I'm really not familiar with the. With the. Um, uh, what's it called? The Grand Defense versus. Ah, uh, top one. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know. Um, I'm not familiar with the pro player, not the pro players, but like the prominent players of the Grand Blue scene. But I'm definitely looking to educate myself on this matter. Yeah, definitely. But Chosan definitely look, looks very, very strong. Like he definitely seems out of the ordinary type of strong. Very nice spot dodge. Almost got the kill, Lord. Oh, oh Chosan almost got the kill right there. And actually, yo, yo, Bartorek, man, taking the first match. That's top 5 global. Okay, that's pretty uh, Gamera, Is Gamera still top 5? It's a good question. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Wow, Bartorek with the 2HS punish, man. Getting... Oh, gonna get hit by the uh, Rhapsody. Very nice to right there from Shosa. Gamera the GOAT. Indeed, man. Strongest player of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. This, this at least I know. But I think he's the, the strongest. Oh, and the fire But look at Bartarek, yo! Look at Bartarek! He's he's on his way to reset the dragon, though. I'm not gonna lie. Good lord, what's going on? Bartarek with the nav, man. Oh, and got the punish on the Rhapsody attempt again with the Rhapsody punish. What the hell is going on? Oh, but that time. Shosan was able to get the Brave Strike in. Gonna go for the grab. Big DP from Bartorek to get Shosan out of his hair. No 2 HS right there, unfortunately, for Bartorek. Oh, what was that? That was a grab attempt when the enemy was in the air. But SBA for the punish. Good stuff from Bartorek. Bartorek, Shosan. <laughs> Well, I, I, I really don't know. Anything can happen. Really, anything can happen. And Bartrak is definitely looking pretty good right now. That being said, yeah, Shosan did manage to take this particular round. Let's see if Bartrak can seal the deal, though. Oh, big DP from Bartrak to get Shosan out of... Oh, out of his hair. What's up, pressure right there from Shosan. For some Bartrak to pop the... Uh, what's it called? The um, Brave Reversal. There we go, the close-up pressure, show some. How do you punish this? Okay, finally, Bartory getting a hit in. He's gonna get the corner pressure straight into the SBA. Boom, and boom, get out of it. Ooh, full animation combo. Nice damage right there from Bartory. Unfortunately, got scooped right there. And it's 50% of your health. Well, not, not that much, though. Oh lord, Shosan with the confirm, with the bait on the grab. Not enough to kill, goes for the setup, goes for the empty low and gets the kill. Okay, Shosan putting one on the board. Bartorek me. <laughs> a secret meme, I root for my bros. Yeah, as you should, as you should, as you should. Wow, what a, what a freaking Rhapsody right there to punish the, what's it called? The Verdrengen. Verdrengen. Very nicely done by Sho. Oh, Verdrengen again. Ooh, gets the sweep though. And again with the X. With the X Rhapsody. Ooh, out of S. Out of S number two. And your life bar has completely disappeared. Good lord, look at the damage. Ah, uh, Shosan trying to go. Ooh, boom! He got hit by the SBA. Not enough to kill. No! Oh, nice juggle. Here we go. What's gonna happen? Ooh, 
no! And the freaking Rhapsody, man! You hate to see it, Rhapsody, the bane of Bartarek. Definitely not been working in his uh, in his favor. Ooh, nice, nice confirm. Well, knife combo, nice combo with the nav. With the nasty nav, the Nella nav. Ah, we go with the infinite wonder. Nice confirm turn Bartorek straight into the Versinger. And what are these freaking names? The Verdrangen. Verdrangen, yeah. Okay, oh, big 6-6 six, six P, and Bartorek should be able to take it. And he does! So he's gonna take it. I stopped watching TNS when the Sigmin was out, not gonna lie. Also, I've noticed that Nier isn't as common in Japanese tournament as in NA. TNS was like tier fest, yeah, it's understandable. Well, she has played a bit though in on um, on the Japanese servers, but yeah, I haven't seen her in Japanese tournaments though. He's uh, probably not as, uh, but people are complaining about her though. Ooh, man, the freaking what's it called? The freaking Rhapsody, bro. Oh, look at the Rhapsody. Put some recovery frames on that move. Ah, uh, Lord. Um, Lord, how do you how do you block this? We go with the jump in, and the grabs attempt from. Ah! <laughs> no! And Bartek, Bar Bartek popping the, popping the uh, what's it called the uh, the install. Oh Lord! Wow, Bartarek with the whiff punish! That whiff punish was godlike! And puts one on the board, yo! One more match and Bartarek will have reset the bracket. Good lord! Bartarek looking clean right now, yo! Good freaking lord! Here we go with the grab! Oh! Nice tick right there from Bartarek! Go straight for the messenger to get Shosan off of his face again with the freaking Rhapsody. As an ex, uh, as an exhort, Siegfried got the German move name. That's why they sound yeah, man. That's why I have so much problems freaking pronouncing it. Uh, as an exhort, main uh, Raven main, I knew why he was running. Loving the DNF OST. Thank you very much, bro. Shosan uh, loves Rhapsody. He does, man. What she has. Where she gets to spam the parry for free because she's Zeta, that's why. But yeah, I totally understand you, Sifu. Me too, I would add like, uh, yeah, some recovery frames on, on the Rhapsody for sure. Well, again, here we go with the corner pressure. Well, the corner pressure that Bartrek is trying to instill, but Shosan got out of it. Big wake up DP right there from Bartrek on the verge of resetting the bracket. Is this gonna happen? We shall see! Let's see how this is gonna happen. Okay, start of, of the uh, round with uh, Arvis. Big Arvis combo right there, Arvis Spear. Good lord, you're gonna go with the freaking. Oh! And Bartrak with the DP yet again! Oh! <laughs> That's freaking. The Rhapsody is so crazy, man. The Mega Man OST. The Perry follow-ups have no involved. Yeah, they don't, they don't. Fair enough, they don't. You can easily frame trap them. Fair enough, fair enough. Thank you very much for the follow in Terricio, and welcome to the bro joke. Okie dokie, Shosan took this second round. Big 2HS from Bartorek. Look at the damage though! Okay, nice blocks right there from Bartorek, not wanting to deal with wake up setups right there. And Bartoek almost got the juggle, gets the grab. Good stuff. Ooh, he got the goal. Oh, and Bartoek is gonna reset the bracket. Good lord, we have a bracket. Re they don't need to change uh, sides though when they do this. But, ma, uh, okay, fair enough. Let's do, Let's do this. Uh, Bartoek versus Shosan. Uh, one second, guys. Show song. Here we go. Okay, good to go. Sorry for the wait. 
and the bracket has been officially reset. Redo the beds, big dog. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. You are right. So, here we go. Uh, Bartarik took it. So, Bartarik took it. So, now we are doing the second set. Chosan versus Bartarik. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Cast your votes. <laughs> yep, I paid out. Don't worry. I did it. <laughs> yeah, my sleep schedule. Mine as well, man. <laughs> and here we go with Shosan. Definitely on fire right now. Did not appreciate the fact that he lost. That he got the bracket reset right now. Thank you very much for the follow, Shadows. And welcome to the bro drop. Okie dokie breads and cookie. Let's see how this pans out. Big 2 HS red that counter hit from Barutik. Ba Barutorik. I, <laughs> I have so many problems saying his name. Gets the big juggle in the corner. That being said, Shosan just jumps out of it. Soundly gonna get a pretty nice corner combo. Oh, nice conversion station. Gonna go for the empty low. And again, Bartorek with the DP. Not afraid of the freaking Rhapsody. Rhapsody coming. <laughs> I called it. Oh, but Bartorek with the freaking freak. I didn't even know you could. Um, how did he How did he block it in time? What the hell? Good stuff from Bartorek. Bartorek definitely seems like he found something right now. He found gold. Good lord. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, lord. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, again, man, with the freaking... Bartrek is playing... Yeah, I know, man. This is crazy. He's playing out of his mind. He's baiting the... Um, the he's baiting the Rhapsody so good and with punishing uh, the recovery of it. It's crazy, man. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Yeah, you can see Shosan, though. He's slowing down the pace. Doesn't want to overextend now. And he found the opportunity right now. Gonna get the corner combo look at the damage goes for the setup i tried to bait something and went for the rap study but man man bartorek with the patience of a saint a buddha gonna get the kill with the ssba no yes he does show son took the freaking lead one to zero yo good lord this is freaking crazy bartorek with the freaking the reverse three oh yo what the hell is going on Okay. Oh, almost got the whiff punish though. Oh, almost got the whiff punish again. The Bartorek playing so diligently right now. He's playing like a freaking saint. A good, uh, good confirms right there from Shosan, but still running straight into the messenger of Bartorek. Nice blocks. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Of course, Rhapsody. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I see what he's doing now, Bartorek is. Oh, and the two and the two. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious, man? It's so crazy. Not enough to kill them. That wasn't enough to kill though. Good lord. Oh wow! Don't look at the damage, man. Ah, that was so unfortunate. Bartrick had so many reads during this uh, this this freaking this freaking round, but man, the damage output of Zeta is definitely not to be trifled with. Ah, too far to get the punish though. Whoa! Oh! Too far to get the punish. I'm saving my energy to Bartok. Bartok is really playing very good. Zeta very balanced. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> and here we go with the corner pressure. Very nice stick pressure from Bartok. Gonna get the juggle. Ooh. Oh! Oh, two HS. You're staying in the corners. Oh, you're actually out of the corner. Unfortunately for them. Ah, oh, look at the freaking... Careful there. Careful there. Careful there. Bartor Eggman just content to... Oh! No, oh, no! He finally got opened by the, the... Oh, man. The forbidden started. This is death, actually, I think. This is definitely death, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, good lord. Uh, the tension is failed. The Oh, the freaking spot dodge! Good stuff from Shosan. Oh, you could feel the tension in the air, bro. Uh, actually, Shosan took the second one. One, 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 one. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, Inter Interisio. I was actually, I was actually, I was actually asking. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys, thanks. <laughs> I was on the verge of asking you guys. You all, 
you all sprung to your keyboards and said, "No, oh, it's one to one." <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. I didn't even have to ask. This is crazy. Anyways, let's go, Bartorek. Looking pretty good this round. Yeah, that, yeah, man. I'm not even looking at the score. I'm just my head is is just straight watching the match. I don't even pay attention to the scores. Like, yeah, I, I need to pay attention to it though. That being said, here we go with Shosan in the corner pressure. The corner combos as well. Gonna go for the setup. Oh, against the freaking uh, the brave strike and Bartory Bar trying to get out of the corner. Very nice use of uh, now to force Shosan out of his side bud, Shosan, man. Clinging to him. Gets the kill with the grab. <laughs> Thanks, Interioricio. My Sieg bro needs the recognition. Oh, you have to put the work then, bro. <laughs> and here we go with... Oh, almost got the juggle, though. Ooh, here we go with Shosan using the X Wonders to get a frame trap and a corner juggle as well look at oh, the damage is okay i guess yeah it's it's definitely yeah zeta can do better and the shimmy the, the fuzzy man the fuzzy for the win shosan taking the lead yo two to one two to one what is gonna happen yeah bartorek what are you gonna do bartorek bartorek change it no bartorek sticking to his gun that damage yeah zeta going ham i know it that is crazy, man. The fuzzy setups are real, guys. Here we go with... Ah, oh, the freaking guard break. Here we go with Bartorek. Ooh, getting the sweep. Gonna go for the empty low. Gets the punish on the Rhapsody. Gets the grab on the X Rhapsody. Rhapsody again. Nope, no Rhapsody now. Ooh, shot. Get out of here. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, Rhapsody again, man. That has been the bane of Bartorek. Ah, too far to get the corner. But still uses X Rhapsody and confirms in the SBA straight away for the kill. We are on tournament point. Shosan versus Bartorek. One more round for Shosan. And he will be the winner of the first Bro Drill Cup. Let's see how this spins out. Big Arvis spirit there and the wow, the freaking clash not in favor of Bartorek unfortunately friend. Big Twitch as though. And Bartorek getting the juggle as well. Uh, again with the spear of freaking Oh lord, this is looking pretty bad. Corner carry for sure, not gonna kill, but is definitely gonna give a pretty nice setup for Shosan. Actually, no. No setup for Shosan. Bartrek using jumping over to get the corner positioning. It's not over to the over. One hit could actually do it. If Bartrek... Ah, and this is gonna be it. Shosan takes it, man. With... There was a bracket reset.